I think the government makes a good customer, but not a good venture capitalist. Stay tuned for CNN.com. When you dream about space businesses, what do you see as possible five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, as viable space businesses that it's hard for us to see because they're not there? You, know, you have the, the, the obvious existing business of, of satellites of one kind or another, um, which I think with an improvement in, in space transportation costs right. will enjoy an increase in the business, but modest. Um, and then I think you've got space tourism or space adventure, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, that, I think, is likely to be the, the biggest driver. Right. Um, and then long term, I think you've got, um, I I I assuming that we fulfill the President's vision and we establish a moon base and then go on and establish a Mars base, I think uh, supplying those bases is a huge, huge business. How does what you are doing help NASA accomplish its goals? Because NASA wants to set bigger goals uh, w well, I think fundamentally the way we help NASA is by lowering the cost of access to space, allowing us to do more interesting things for a, for a given budget. In fact, I think what we're doing is critical to the future of NASA. Um, at, at the current prices that NASA pays for space transportation, I don't think we'll be able to achieve anything interesting in space. As far as business... You would I occasionally do a job for them. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I certainly... I but you're I not going into business with them. I, well, actually, I, I view all of the, the gov government agencies with an interest in space as customers. So I view NASA as a customer, certainly um, the Air Force, uh, Naval Research Lab, um, National Reconnaissance Organization, um, you know, all the NASA is certainly, uh, you know, somebody we would like to be uh, right. necessarily a customer of ours. When you say space transportation, we think of transportation, we always think of moving people. You think of moving people, moving satellites, moving cargo? Well, uh, we're starting off with uh, transportation of, of satellites to orbit, um, or cargo, you could call it cargo. Um, or I, so, but w we're starting off with, with unmanned uh, transportation um, and when, as we prove out the reliability, our intention is to move to uh, human transportation as well. Where do you think we are in the life of our space exploration? We're definitely in a lull w uh, with respect to human space exploration on the government side. However, what I, what I think we're beginning to see is the dawn of a new era of space exploration, uh, but one that is uh, driven by uh, commercial uh, companies uh, as much, if not more, than by, by government. Thank you.